In the beginning of this video, I just want to show you something very special. And these are the goats on the tree. <laughs> What's good guys, my name is Oleg Nikitin, you're watching No Limits On channel from Russia with Love and from Morocco this time and today we're having a look at ND filters, variable ND filters from Case Company and now we're about to find out is it any good. As you saw from the footage you can attach those filters to your smartphone with a clamp and this clamp has magnets so you can attach different filters like 2 to 5 stops filter or 6 to 9 stops of ND and also the case filters are coming in the case. So guys, now we're using the Filmic Pro app, we have 1 over 60 shutter speed, 30 frames per second and that is how it looks without a filter. Also we have ISO 41 and now let's rotate the filter from 5 stops to 2 stops of ND and back. And now here comes the question, do you lose picture quality and sharpness when you use such filter? So let's compare it in all three camera modules starting with ultra wide lens. When we zoom in 10 times, I can see no difference in sharpness and in detail levels. Now let's have a look at the main camera sensor and we see basically the same exact sharpness on both pictures. And now the telephoto module 3x and once again the same picture quality, the same sharpness and detail levels, which is great. So the filters do not reduce your picture quality. Okay guys, now let's compare two photos, one over 60 shutter speed on the left picture within the filter and one over two thousandths of a second on the right picture. When we zoom in we can straight away see individual drops on the right picture and on the left picture we can see that the water is kind of streaming, we don't see almost any individual drops and it's looking definitely more natural and pleasing at least to my eye. But also on the left picture we can see much more digital sharpening, it's because of the lower shutter speed and iPhone is trying to keep up the sharpness and that is why over sharpening digitally this image, which we don't have on the right picture. So you kind of have to choose which effect you prefer more or use a third party app in which you can set all of your settings manually and do not rely on heavy over sharpening of iPhone in the main camera app. And now one more picture from pretty far distance and we have 1 over 120 shutter speed, pretty tough numbers. And it's not enough to introduce a lot of motion blur as you can see, we almost have no difference. So if you shoot something from that far with 1 over 120 shutter speed, it's not enough to show and introduce enough blur. There is one more thing I have to mention is that almost all variable ND filters, they do have some weak spots closer to their maximum ND rating and to their minimum ND rating and it's looking like an X letter. You can see that especially good with your ultra wide lens, with the telephoto lens it's not that pronounced. And only very expensive ND filters like Peter McKinnon edition NDs are not having this issue and basically you can use only from 2 to 4 stops if you're using 2 to 5 ND filter from case and on 5 stops you'll get this X pattern which is not cool. And if you're using 6 to 9 stops ND, basically your usable range is around 6 to 8 or even 7 to 8 stops of ND, without introducing those weaknesses of variable ND, you have to consider that. Also if you use this filter on iPhone 13 Pro Max, it does cover all three cameras, but if you use it in photo mode with the ultra wide camera, you'll get this vignette and you have to adjust this filter so it's not getting in the way of the camera. And now let's have a look at a couple of shots with those ND filters, ND4 right here and ND5 on the next picture and I do think that the picture quality is really great, iPhone 13 Pro Max and video is doing a great job, it's a little over sharpened in my opinion, but overall those filters are not degrading the image quality. And now let's have a look at side by side videos with and without the filter. So here is the shot without an ND filter, as you can see we're using Filmic Pro, we have 1 over 240th of a second and ISO 43. And the picture was pretty cool looking, I mean cool, <laughs> the color towards blue. And with the filter we have more towards warm and towards green colors, 1 over 60 shutter and ISO 64. Comparing those shots side by side we can see the difference in white balance, as I said before, but in terms of motion uh, we don't see a dramatic difference, we only have this lady in the yellow jacket passing by and we don't really see a difference right here, it's not enough. 
In terms of sharpness, they are kind of identical. I only see the difference in overexposing this little part with the sun on the bricks, but it's okay, I guess. Maybe I missed out on the exposure a little bit. And now we're having the shot with the waterfall. We can see that the shutter speed is 1 over 30,720, which is a lot. And we can see individual drops and also a lot of artifacts because of this movement. And now 1 over 60 shutter speeds with an ND filter, much warmer picture. We had the same white balance as you can see right here, ISO 34. And now we don't see individual drops. We can see basically a stream of water, which I do prefer. It looks more natural. And now let's look at those shots side by side. We can clearly see the difference and I do prefer the slower shutter speed shots and also we see a ton of blocks of magenta noise on the regular shots without an ND. And now the movement shots here where the things get tricky. Without ND filter and with short shutter speeds we do get pretty nice looking picture without any artifacts of stabilization. But as soon as we put the ND filter on and we use nothing but our hands, we can definitely see the artifacts of stabilization kind of ghosting on the contrasting edges, especially on the roof of this building. And it's really noticeable. And if you shot something during the nighttime, you totally understand what I'm talking about. The digital stabilization of the ultra wide camera and even the main camera, they provide you with artifacts which are kind of you know, ugly to be honest. And it happens because of the slower shutter speeds and you can even notice it if you use your regular camera and you try to stabilize it in post. For instance, in Sony a7S III we have Catalyst Browse. When you use the normal shutter speed, like 1 over 60 in 30 frames per second, you do get the same exact results even with a full frame camera. It's just the way the shutter speed and stabilization works. With the main camera sensor, we don't get this bad result because the main camera sensor is stabilized. I mean, the sensor itself is stabilized in the iPhone 13 Pro Max and 12 Pro Max. And as you can see, we have better results right here. Side by side, we don't see any artifacts, but it's a pretty sunny day once again, and I'm moving pretty slowly. And with the telephoto camera, we can see that it's a little choppy without any filter. With a filter, it's better, but we do see some ghosting and artifacts of stabilization. No matter, I do move very slightly and gently, and we still do need some kind of stabilization. So guys, how to get rid of this weird shakiness and stabilization artifacts? We can use a stabilizer or a gimbal. Even something as simple as this Hoham iSteady Q selfie stick, basically one axis camera stabilizer will provide you with the better results when without using any gimbal and doing it handheld. This gimbal is very small. I guess it's more of a selfie stick and not a gimbal exactly. The iSteady Q can even handle the iPhone 13 Pro Max, which is pretty heavy. And even iPhone 13 Pro Max with the ND filter setup, like you see right here. And you can just twist it with your hand or use it as a regular selfie stick to get some wider shots with yourself and it even has a pretty cool twisting mechanism because you can't use it in stories mode it's not enough room for it and after that you can use your phone even with the filters applied in both landscape and stories modes and also it comes with a little handy remote control bluetooth control which you can detach and use separately and as you can see with the gimbal we do get more stable results even if we are running and this is without a gimbal and with the ND filter applied. Or for even better performance, you can buy something beefier like Hohem iSteady V2 or iSteady V2 AI, which I had a separate review on the channel, and this gimbal will make even better job for you. And you wouldn't have those weird artifacts of stabilization for sure. Just be gentle and careful. I'm not suggesting running with a gimbal like crazy. I'll leave a link for Hohem gimbals down below. So guys, now it's time to conclude and to talk about the price. The price for the kit for one clamp and one filter, for instance, two to five stops of ND will be around $80, which is not really cheap, but if you do know why you need those filters, they have pretty nice quality, pretty good build quality once again, nice clamp. Also, those filters do not reduce your picture quality and sharpness, but they do change your white balance, which most of variable ND filters do anyway. You can fit those filters to almost any smartphone, which is cool, but you need to be careful when shooting video and use some kind of stabilization not to get the artifacts of stabilization for sure. So if you do know why you need those, for instance, for long exposure photography or for proper shutter speeds in your videos, 
just go ahead and take this one. But if you were thinking whether to buy it or not and you're kinda tight on the budget, I think it's more than okay using your smartphone without any ND. Because we are so used to this choppy footage from your smartphones. Please guys, share all of your thoughts for those ND filters for your smartphones down in the comment section below. Also, if you did enjoy this video and the views of Morocco, please smash the like and subscribe buttons as I say in my videos and hit the notifications bell. Here is my Instagram and a couple of videos for you to watch next. My name is Alek Nikitin from Russia with love. I'm from Morocco once again and I see you guys in my next video. Take care. Bye.